Hey everyone, I'm Jay. Today we're watching the 15th episode of Vinland Saga. Last episode, uh, we witnessed the brutal massacre of a village. Except, uh, save one girl, the little thief. Uh, she survived. Mm-hmm. Let's watch. Three, two, one, go. What's up, King? Is that the king's skin? It's seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty chewed up. <laughs> hmm. I love those horns for drinking glasses. <laughs> Whew. Harsh words. Damn, friggin' leather skin there. The king has seen some shit in his days. <laughs> some massive scars. Yeah, I freaking love though that the only one that actually survived the massacre was the center of the group. I thought that was uh, rather amusing. So what the hell's gonna happen in this episode? Ah, back to Torquel. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Big guy, feed me. <laughs> yup. <laughs> what a whole keg! <laughs> of course! <laughs> <laughs> Bored as hell. Oh, 
The way what? Damn. <laughs> then why'd you join the losing side? <laughs> He's so fickle. <laughs> oh my god, Torquel. Never change. Never change. <laughs> Accurate. Mm hmm. Nope. Can't hear a damn thing. What happened to that lone surviving girl? Where did she head off to? Give us a sign! Woo! Chris is speaking up. Woo! Prince is slowly changing. <clears throat> yeah, he's changing. He's getting, he's toughening up a bit. He's not giving less of a damn about what he says. <laughs> <laughs> Grubby hands. Wait, was that just was that her? No. That was a redhead. Hey better look. It was around nine thirty. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go, man. <laughs> oh, and the town is so happy. Get him the hell out. Give me all the food you got.
<laughs> and there goes the winter supply. <laughs> yes. Taking a leak. All together now. <laughs> Hurry it up. Move fast or die. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. So it must have been the redhead that I saw then. Because she, she was the only one that survived. She's the only one that would know. <laughs> Damn straight. Ah, <sighs> no, ain't conehead. He's a cook, huh? He's a cook. All right, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Smack! Ooh! What a dick! Ridiculous. You should always know how to prepare your own meal. Never know what situation you end up in. Come on, King.
I want to eat peas, damn it. Shut up. Whew. He is quick. <laughs> Moving out. <laughs> There's a lot of shields. Shut up, Conehead. <laughs> yeah, you go to the front line. <laughs> Hey, you're gonna die too. I'm sure, an idiot. Oh, they're from the enemy. <laughs> oh. Cone head down. Oh, he very down. Oh, well, they call him Cone Head too. Oh, orders from Asklad. Oh, I thought they were from the enemy. This actually is their guys. He's sick and tired of them. I'd be sick and tired of this douchebag too. Guy doesn't shut the hell up. Still barking out orders. <sighs> oh, he's nearby. Nice. I thought there were the enemy there for a bit because I was like, I don't recognize those two. It's not the usual guys. Most likely. I'll give him one thing, he is highly devoted to that prince. Yup. Oh. 
Oh. Naturally. So you try to get Canoe killed. Oh! The waste of wine! Rip. Mm hmm. So that he would fail. Yup. Alright. Got it. It's the king. Oh, damn. That's a twist. That really throws a wrench into Askeladd's plans. Devoted. Props for that. Just gotta stop. <laughs> yeah, right? Whew. Damn. Okay, then. Like, honestly, I was hoping he would die because he annoyed the hell out of me, but I was not expecting it to go like that. Okay, then. This king is his enemy now. Oh my god. That's problematic. Yeah, turning the prince over to the king will just get everybody killed. So we can't do that anymore. Hmm. Actually, that works out kind of good for uh, Asclad, doesn't it? Because he hates the Danes. So if he turns against the king, helps kill the king, does a coup, puts Canute in charge, he, like, took out the king, and the guy he wants in power is now in power, and... Fascinating. I don't think it will go nearly that easily, naturally, but... You never know. Love the Valkyries coming down at the end. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I just want to check that one scene. It's around 9.30-ish. Oh, right there. Here's the redhead. And bam. Yup, it was indeed her. So the redhead is the one that survived. The redhead that survived is the one that told them, uh... Where the people were. Oh my god. Huh. Huh. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I love it. Oh my god, this series. I swear, every episode, this series just gets better and better and better. I don't know how it's possible. Like, I'm just, like, fully engrossed in the story now. 
And even though not a lot happens every particular episode, there's just so much emotion and raw and like tense moments. And I love it. It's just oh, it's so good. But Ragnar the Conehead is finally down. Hmm. Yeah, I think this will probably make uh, Canute a stronger, stronger person. I do think there's a tiny chance that he will just withdraw into his shell and never come out again. I do think there is that a tiny possibility of that. But uh, I think it's a little unlikely. It's going to be interesting now. What is Asklad going to do now that he knows the king is his enemy? Hmm. Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me know what you thought. Bye-bye.